Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over some sample questions um, for the Service Cloud Consultant exam. So these are on the exam guide PDF and I'll have that link down below. Um, these are just questions that we'll see are kind of representative of what's on the exam. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Number one, which three tasks should be included in a business continuity plan for a contact center? Choose three answers. A, route cases to agents with an, in an alternate center. B, disable the interactive voice response system. C, deliver training on case handling for contingent staff. D, update the case status values case status field values, or E, monitor service level agreements and notify customers. And choose three answers. All right, the correct answers are A, C, and E. So the keywords here is the continuity plan. So in case something like how to get these um, cases handled when maybe something's going a little awry. So these are red cases to the correct people. Um, training for the staff and monitoring SLAs. All right, let's go ahead and move on to number two. Universal Containers plans to deploy service Salesforce Service Console to its support team. Which three steps should be considered in deployment? Choose three answers. A, customize highlight panels for all objects. B, set up interaction logs and assign them to user profiles. C, assign users in the Service Cloud user feature license. D, set up users and assign them to a queue. Or E, customize case list views. Again, choose three answers. All right, and the correct answers are A, B, and C. So these are the things that you need to consider um, when deploying them. So not necessarily setting it up, but just deploying. All right, let's go ahead and move to three. Universal Containers needs to closely manage the publishing lifecycle for articles in knowledge. Article managers will be granted different publishing capabilities from the article creation through archiving published articles. How should the permissions for the article managers be set up? Choose one answer. A, create public groups with article managers and assign each group to specific article, article actions. B, create publication teams with article managers and assign them to specific article actions. C, create public groups with article managers um, and assign them to each group to specific publication states. And D, create publication teams with article managers and assign them to each specific publication state. Again, it's just choose one answer. And the correct answer is A. So this is correct because we do need public groups, which is indicated in A and C. Uh, and the second half is that we need each group to have a specific article action. So one that would be granted publishing and then one would be creating and one would be maybe editing or reviewing. So that's why I would go with A. All right, let's go ahead and go to four. A support agent has a detailed question about product functionality. The agent needs a real-time response from the internal subject matter, mid matter experts. Which feature will help the support agent send this question to the right group of people? Choose one answer. A, mass email. B, chatter groups. C, public groups. Or D, escalation role. Again, choose one answer. All right, and the correct answer is B, chatter groups. So chatter is kind of used as a instant messaging uh, platform, you'll get an email notification and other notifications within Salesforce. Um, a mass email would take a really long time in public groups. They'd be public. You'd want to have them a little bit more private before. That and escalation rules are often used for cases um, individually rather than um, understanding the support 
agent needs their question answered, but they wouldn't support or have a case sent in. So that's how I would go with B. All right, let's go ahead and go to number five, the last one. Universal Containers plans to implement Salesforce knowledge for all U.S. call centers to assist agents in providing customer support. Which three options should UC consider when planning its implementation? Choose three answers. A, what types of information they need to publish. B, who can approve and manage the information published. C, how can information how information should be categorized. D, where call center support agents are located. Um, and D, or E, when the knowledge maintenance window is available. Again, choose three answers. All right, and the correct answers are A, B, and C. So D and E are kind of um, under... Our, well, D is for where the support agents are located, and that's not necessarily uh, well need for for our knowledge. And E, it's not necessarily uh, vital that we know when the window is available for knowledge maintenance. So A, B, and C uh, are what we need to know and what support agents need to know when we are setting up knowledge implementation. All right, thank you for joining me for this video. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and helps me make more helpful videos like this. Um, be sure to drop down in the comments and let me know if you have any questions about the exam or any questions about the questions. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.